The medical campus Würzburg is the venue for cutting-edge research in the field of infection biology and RNA-based infection research. Here, scientists at the Helmholtz Institute, in cooperation with researchers in the United States, have discovered a new type of CRISPR immune defense. CRISPR works as an immune system by protecting bacteria against foreign invaders, much like our own body protects ourselves against viruses and bacteria. This defense mechanism is the source of gene scissors and has been harnessed in lots of different applications, including gene therapy. When we think about CRISPR and gene scissors, we normally think about this one protein called Cas9. Turns out there's a bunch of different proteins you can find in nature that we can use for our own purposes. And so while exploring and looking for new nucleases we could use for our own purpose, we stumbled across this entirely new nuclease we call Cas12A2. Unlike any other previously known nucleus of the CRISPR-Cas immune system, Cas12A2 destroys DNA to shut down an infected cell. We work with uh, CRISPR nucleases we now call Cas12A2. In the early days of CRISPR research, when very few of these nucleases were known and nothing was known about them, they were clumped with other CRISPR nucleases called Cas12A. Cas12A works in a way that allows bacteria to identify DNA viruses and destroy them. Cas12A2 recognizes and destroys RNA viruses, but it can also uh, destroy other RNA and DNA in the cell. And as a result, the cell may die. In effect, sacrificing itself uh, and preventing the spread of the infection to the rest of the bacterial colony. So Cas12A2 is this really funky protein that is in many regards a Swiss army knife. It unleashes this cleavage activity that goes after any nucleic acid it can find. RNA, single-stranded DNA, and double-stranded DNA. And it does this through these really amazing conformational changes as the protein tumbles and reshapes itself to activate these activities. Important findings which could lead to entirely new CRISPR technologies. Most immediately, Cas12A2 can be used to detect pathogenic viruses and bacteria. But we're also working on a technology which would allow us to protect people against infections and maybe even identify and destroy cancer cells. This is a truly collaborative effort. It involved not only my group and the Helmholtz Institute for RNA-based infection research, but also Benson Hill, an ag biotech company in the US, as well as two different universities, Utah State University and the University of Texas at Austin. 